The Artemis 1 rocket is on its way to the launch pad. The rocket started moving about an hour ago after a delay due to weather. These are live pictures right now from Kennedy Space Center. And Fox 35's Alina Shirazi is also live there tonight. So Alina, this mission is less than two weeks away now. Yes, it is, Luann, and a successful rollout tonight means we are in ready position for the big mission. This rocket weighs millions of pounds, and the crawler transporter itself is six million pounds. NASA calling it the world's most powerful rocket, and it's headed straight for the moon. This is a mega machine, a behemoth uh, from back in the 1960s that we're still using today. The plans are to have the SLS rocket and its top hat, the Orion capsule, make their way from Kennedy Space Center's Vehicle Assembly Building all the way to Launch Pad 39B. This rocket is ready to launch. This test flight is the first in a series of planned missions back to the moon. Artemis 1 will take six weeks checking out systems before NASA hopes to put astronauts on Artemis 2. We won't be flying crew, we'll be flying some mannequins and some torsos that are simulated human tissue and organs that are looking at radiation protection, radiation environment. One of the biggest questions are why it took us so long to get back on the moon. NASA spokesperson Daryl Nail says the answer has to do with changing an administration administrations and budgets. Now, uh, over the past 10 years, the dedication to go back and further explore in deep space is renewed. They are our way to get into deep space and explore not just the moon, but also eventually Mars. Oh. And there are three prospective dates. We're live at Kennedy Space Center, Lena Shirazi, Fox 35 News.